Hi everyone, Stephanie here, and today I'm really excited because I've got my smart bird feeder. I absolutely love watching birds. I love it when birds come to all the bird feeders we have here around the house, and this one has a camera and it has an app, and so I'm really excited to get this going and see exactly what types of wildlife birds we can see in our backyard. So to get your camera set up, um, you'll notice your camera is enclosed in this little case right here. Um, you'll just kind of flip this down like this and then using this screw you'll just unscrew it and then you'll be able to take your camera out just like this and set this to the side. Now on the camera itself you'll see here that you have this thing that says switch inside here when you can flip this up. So inside here is where you can plug up your mini USB to charge. You can put your micro SD card and you can also switch it on or off. So let's get that plugged in using the cord that is provided. This is USB, so I'm just gonna plug that in and then I'm gonna plug my micro USB in here. And then you can tell the camera turns on and it starts to charge. And then using the little um, micro SD card that is provided, I can take this out and then slide it right here into the slot. Now that we've gone through all of the setup steps with the downloading the app, which you will need to have the camera out in order to do that, we can put the camera back in. Just get it back in there and then twist it back in to the bolt. And then we flip it back up and then we can connect the USB that is already attached here. Connect that down here. Push that back up. And then this is ready to plug into the solar panel top. So we plug that into the solar panel top. This is a USB-C, USB-C. And then we are ready to put the top of the bird feeder on. So now with the top of the bird feeder on, this is essentially what it looks like. You have the little stand here where birds can land. Uh, you will put your bird feed, um, you'll actually remove the, the roof to put the bird feed in here and it will fill this entire section up and then come down through here. But this is what it looks like before you install it. Now we're going to be installing this using um, the uh, strap that will go around a tree. Um, so no drilling uh, for me necessary, but all of the materials come if you do want to drill this into um, maybe a part of your house or your porch or something like that. So the method that we're going to do, you're, we're going to take this bracket right here that's provided. We're going to place it on top over here, and then we're going to take this piece that's provided and line up the holes. Now that our holes are all aligned, we're gonna take these little screws right here and we're going to place them in. We're gonna tighten them in a second. Actually, we're going ahead and tighten them now. So I've just got a screwdriver here. And do that for all three. So now that is secure, make sure they're all tight, good to go. Now we're going to take the tree strap, we're going to weave it through the little holes in the bracket. And so now we're ready to go and put this on our tree. 
on second thought, I actually decided to put it here on my fence post because my tree was a little too big and it wasn't perfectly straight. Um, I could use the, the brackets, the screw-ins, but for now, I just want to test this out and see how this works. So I've got this on my fence post and it's completely secure and I've got all the bird feed in here and I'm really excited to see some birds. Here is what the app interface looks like. Uh, number one, it does give you, you can set it so that it gives you like a little notification when it notices movement in the area. And then when you get a bird on camera, you can click the little bird icon and it will actually show you um, what bird it thinks it's detected. It will indicate um, what percent accuracy. You can click learn more. It'll take you to Wikipedia where you can learn all about that particular bird. Um, so that is really cool. And there's so many other features here in the app. You can take video, you can take a picture, you can save your photos and your videos, you can share them with other people. It'll give you an idea of how much the, um, the charge is going on. And because this has the solar panels, it's constantly charging. I love that you can just kind of get more information about the different types of birds that come into uh, your bird feeder really, really cool. Uh, the first couple of days that I had this, I found that I was checking my notifications all day long because I was just like enthralled by all the different types of birds coming in. So fun. And if you are a bird lover, this is really, really cool. So, so many different features here in the app. Uh, you can personalize it exactly how you need to, what works best for you. Um, I'm really loving the video quality here during the daytime. I'm going to show you nighttime here in just a second. So here is what the camera looks like at night. Um, very few birds will come to feed at night. However, I do really appreciate the fact that this is essentially acting like a security cam for my backyard at night. I think the picture quality is pretty good. Um, the night vision and I have a pretty good view of my entire backyard through this camera on the smart bird feeder. So thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you enjoy seeing all the wonderful birds that come to your new smart bird feeder.